more tension packed than this the 2022 FIFA World Cup final who is going to come out on top Stay with us for every kick of the ball right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Presnel Kimpembe plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. And Goro Conte starts alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Karim Benzema. No danger now. Messi. Can they forge ahead? And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to save her. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So France get the ball rolling once more to find out how they're going to react to the setback. Benzema. Mbappe with it. Here's Marcos Acuna. And can they exploit the space out wide? Gives it a go! Coming for grabs. And in the end, no damage done. And fine work by Argentina to recover possession. Chance to cross. Messi. Magnificent defending. Pullman. Now with Benzema. Incisive pass from Mbappe. Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. Whipped in by Griezmann. Only well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Marcos Acuna. Paredes. Fine sequence of passes. Mbappe. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Firing it in. Oh, God, it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and what a finish from Mbappe. He gives the keeper absolutely no chance. It's such a powerful strike. So underway again here on the back of that leveler. Number 10, Kylian Mbappe. Just 
showing a real will to win the ball. Benzema. Well, a wasted opportunity. It would have been a decent chance, but offside the decision. Di Maria. A oh, terrific pass. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And Mbappe just hits it with such confidence. He strikes it so cleanly. It's a great goal. Goal! Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the France. current state of affairs. Kylian Mbappe. Messi. It's with Paredes. Martinez. The first half here comes to an end. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. defender to take charge really bright looking attack the save was a good one Riesman tasked with taking the corner and the danger still on no real pressure as he brought the ball down and with that the attack fizzles out well let's see what they have in store for them on the break Messi superb block that is how to apply the pressure Well, there it is. France just haven't had as much of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. It's really good without the ball, and the all-around performance levels have been high. Di Maria. A chance to whip it in. Determined defending. And the counter looks on here. Options available. All hands on deck. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Martinez. Martinez. And he takes it on. And searching for his second, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. And how about the short corner? by much time for a change then and got a Conte on to Benzema again Coleman's cross really does invite somebody to attack it and he does well to read the flight of the ball to be fair almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper and that seems to catch him off guard a really good controlled finish Number 
Martinez. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Well, it was a good counter-attack in the making, but very alert defending. This is looking threatening. Able to skip past his man. Opportunity! Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Substitution time it is here. Who can he pick out? Plus it away. Just ten minutes remaining here. Well, he certainly caught all of that, but was never going to trouble the keeper in the end. Goal kick it is. Martinez. Giving the ball away. He has teammates around him. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, and nearly on target. Not quite, though. Yeah, very nearly, but the goalkeeper had it covered. It wasn't really a great effort. Riesma. Now with Benzema. Can he do it from miles out? Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. We are going to have two additional minutes. Martinez. Martinez. Oh, there it is! A lifeline in this game! And what a finale we could be in for here! Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. France, the world champions! It takes a massive effort to win back-to-back -back World Cups. But Stuart, that's what France have done. And they fully deserve it as well. They've been excellent throughout the tournament. The coach has done the right things. They've had a good team spirit. And just think of those fans. They've got right behind this team. Brilliant for them.